Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Kidney Care Cosas. In today's video, I wanted to talk about fluid, fluid gain, target weight, complications associated with gaining too much fluid. But before I get too deep into the video, I would appreciate it if you like the content that I present to subscribe to my channel so you can learn about all things kidney disease. Okay. Why is this even a video that I need to talk about? Why do I need to talk about fluid? Most patients are hospitalized because of issues from having on too much fluid. The majority of all hospitalizations have something to do with the patient having too much fluid in their body. Fluid. Fluid is anything that is liquid at room temperature. That includes jello, ice cream, ice, soups, yogurts, puddings. All of those things are going to be liquid at room temperature. So there is a fair amount of liquid contained in those items. Of course, most people get their fluid from water, juice, tea, coffee, beer, soda, whatever. And the goal that we try to shoot for for the patients is 32 ounces per day. That is a liter or a quart of fluid per day. Because with in-center dialysis, you're only coming three days a week. So you have four days a week you have to account for. So we understand that. So that's why we recommend for patients to take in a liter of fluid a day. You'll have what's called a target weight or a dry weight. Years ago, we used dry weight more often, but right now we use target weight because target weight kind of reflects the weight that the patient is able to achieve without much stress, without pulling them too dry, without them cramping or their blood pressure bottoming out. That's why we call that the target weight. Years ago, we used dry weight and dry weight was pretty much how it sounded. We dried the person out. Whether the person had cramps at the end of treatment, whether the person blood pressure dropped at the end of treatment, that was the weight we really tried to pull patients down to. But now we want to be more gentler on the patients. We don't want to stress the patients out. We want patients to want to come to dialysis without fear of, oh my God, my blood pressure is going to bottom out today. Oh my God, I don't want to doze off because my blood pressure bottoms off at the end. So I want to be really careful at the end. This is what we're trying to prevent. We want to put a weight target weight that the patient can easily achieve. This is the goal. And sometimes patients have to run longer in order to achieve their target weight. Sometimes patients have to come in for an extra treatment once, twice a month in order to achieve their target weight. Real important. So there's two main things that drive thirst in dialysis patients. One is excessive sodium intake. Anytime you eat anything salty, everyone knows this, you eat a pickle, a bag of chips, a hot dog, you're going to be super freaking thirsty. If you don't control your blood sugar, that will make you super freaking thirsty. So controlling those two things really does help patients to um, be able to hit that target weight each day. So we always encourage patients, hey, try cooking at home, try not eating a lot of processed foods or easy to prepare foods because those tend to have more sodium in it. Most Americans get their um, sodium from eating out, eating processed and prepared foods, and lastly, the salt shaker. If you cook fresh foods at home and you add a dash of salt to it, you're not. that's not what we're referring to. We're referring to when patients, you know, eat like hamburger helper, eat like the different kinds of soups, eating, um, the frozen TV dinners, those tend to have a lot of sodium as well. And another way people get a lot of sodium is from at the end of their treatment, if they need a lot of saline given back to them, you're taking in a lot of salt like that with the, um, with the saline because it's a percentage of sodium in the saline. So it's real important to try to watch those, those three different factors to help you to control the amount of sodium that you're taking in because that's the biggest driver of thirst. So to make it easy for patients to achieve their weight goal each time, they've done, they have done studies over the years and retrospective analysis of target of treatment sheets and that sort of thing. And they found that when patients gain greater than 5% of their target weight, they are going to have more issues and it is more detrimental for the heart. For instance, 
if you weigh, let's say, I'm gonna do an easy one. I can do it in my head. <laughs> 70 kilos. If you're 70 kilos, a lot of patients are 70 kilos. That's not an odd number to choose. 5% of 70 kilos would be 3.5. 3.5 is including the rinse back and the, the put on fluid. So you have to include that in your weight goal. So you might say, hey, I can gain 3.5. That's a uh, one and a half liters of fluid a day, if not more. No, it has to, you have to include the rinse bag that they also give you at the dialysis center. So if you gain two, they're gonna add 2.6, depending on the bloodlines and how big your dialyzer is. So you have to realize that's gonna be added to what you already gain yourself. And if you receive IDPN therapy at the dialysis unit, they have to add that in. If you drink while you're on the machine, they have to add that fluid in as well. So there's a lot of fluid that they have to take off of you at one time, which can increase the number. So somebody who weighs 70 kilos can gain about um, 3.5 at the most, including the rinse back. So if you're 70 kilos and you gain 3.5, you should come in not 74, not 75. You should come in 70, maybe 73, okay, which includes the rinse back into the to the goal, if that's making sense. So whatever your target weight is, Take 5% of that and add it to it. And that gives you the weight you should come in at. You shouldn't come, any, come in any heavier than that particular weight. That's the goal that we're shooting for each day. But we do realize patients occasionally go out to eat and so they make it extra fluid like that. But it's real important for all patients to know their number one, what is your target weight? What is the weight they are trying to achieve every single treatment? Then I didn't even talk about patients who miss treatments. If you miss a treatment and you still drink 32 ounces of fluid per day and you miss Monday and you had on two kilos for Monday, then you had on the two kilos for the other day. So you come in, you have on four or five kilos of fluid to remove which is very dangerous to rem remove at one time. So missing a treatment is, it just throws all your fluid numbers completely out of whack because the fluid you would have safely taken off in two treatments, you're having to take off in one treatment. So one thing that I did want to mention, when patients are unable to re to achieve their target weight, they have to leave with a certain amount of fluid on. You might you might ask six nephrologists, hey, what is the trigger, what is the trigger amount of fluid that you think patients are over that they need to come back in for an extra treatment? Some physicians are like, hey, if they're over one kilo above their target weight, I want them to come in for an extra treatment. Some people will say, hey, if they're two kilos over. What I have found a happy middle ground is one and a half. If you're between one and one and a half kilos above your target weight and you know your target weight is correct, you probably need to mention to them, hey, I probably need an extra treatment. Oftentimes, you won't have to run a complete dialysis session. Some nephrologists encourage you, says, hey, if you're coming in, you might as well run your full time. Some will just let you run two hours and then they run you what's called sequential. Some people say puffing or whatever where you're only pulling fluid, you are not cleaning the blood. You don't wanna get a habit of doing sequential during a normal dialysis session. For one reason, you are not cleaning your blood during that time period. And when you think about your kidney, kidney dialysis only accounts for 25% of what your normal kidneys were doing when they were working properly. So if during most of your dialysis sessions, you have to run a sequential session because you had on too much fluid, you are getting even less cleaning. So it's really important that if you're above your target weight to run an extra treatment, not just try to do a sequential treat, a partial sequential treatment during a normal session because you're not getting your blood cleaned during that time period.
Well, thanks. I didn't want to make this video entirely too long, just blabbering on and on and on about fluid. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Please comment below if you feel like I've left off anything that was vital or really important for patients to know. And thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in all things kidney disease. And thanks again for watching.